Bryony and I'm here at this stunning farm in Bodfari, North Wales to welcome you to the third and final qualifier of Away With Dogs. And it's right here in Buch Isaf in the stunning Cloidian hills of Denbyshire where some of the country's top sheepdog handlers have come to compete to become the first Away With Dogs champion. Hey! Like them! Like them! Like them! We've already seen six out of the nine top sheepdog handlers compete over this testing course, setting an incredibly high standard for the remaining three competitors. So, the pressure is on. Can they match or even beat those scores to gain a place in the final? Let's go to the draw to see which order they'll run in. Should we keep filming? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to you first here in the middle. You've got a big smile on your face. Yeah, I'm number one. <laughs> number one. How do you feel about that? Good. Yeah. Good? You're yeah. feeling confident? No, but I'll, I just want to get it over with. You'd like to get it over and yeah. done with. Fantastic. And who's up second? Excellent. That's a good place to go in this, this run? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> Fantastic. Finally, yeah. but by no means least. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so the pressure is on for you. You're our final... Uh, handler of today, you've, you'll have seen everyone trialling across this course. How do you yeah. think it's going to go? Well, it depends how the sheep will work. Yeah. So take it as it comes, I think. Doesn't matter, does it? No, well, we're <laughs> all here to have a good time. Well, best of luck, guys. Um, we'll look forward to watching your trials. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we start, here's a final look at the course explained by trial judge Alid Owen. Right, uh, the course itself, um, you stand by this post. Uh, send the dog down through the gate to the left. There's plenty of room behind the sheep and you can see the post, the sheep will be set by the post there. So lift through the fetch to this uh, post in front of us here and you turn the sheep around the post, keep to the right of the post and around, back through into the field and through the drive gate, cross drive, the line is above the fetch gate. Back again. You, you bring the sheep to the right of the post again and then you can proceed to the pen. Here we go, Medwin Evans starting the third day's trial off with Meg. He's a full-time shepherd and a very good dog trainer as well as a top trialist. Med, as he's known in North Wales, has always enjoyed starting and running homebred young dogs with which he's won over 100 open trials. He's been Welsh national champion twice and is always a very tough competitor. This season alone, he's gained over 100 national qualification points with his two fantastic dogs. Medwin Evans now to run with five-year-old Meg. Medwin's not going to risk a blowout whistle. Now he is. Very successful handler, great shepherd, and breeds a lot of good top quality dogs. There she lands. Three points off, mainly for drawing whistles. A little jump at the start from the sheep, so two points will be lost there. Now he's starting the fetch. Meg showing wide square flanks there. Very responsive to her whistles. She's reading these sheep. She can see the light, keeping a distance. Now Medwin will try for a really straight line. Three 
through the gate and a quick flank whistle trying to get them turned for this post just missed it so eight, eight points are lost there on the on the fetch Medwin not going to undo that turn, so he's going to carry on straight with the drive. Med just getting a reminder to take the command. Bit of a growl there for Medwin. They're offline here, so they're really going to have to go for it. Working at a big distance. He's going to try a turn on the move. Oh, got away with that. Meg was on the wrong side for that turn, but she, she came like a whippet. Offline again now. We're seeing the bottoms of the sheep where we really want to be seeing the sides. Now the heads. Getting them back online quietly. He's high here, hey. giving a reminder to listen, get on with what she's told. Now back online. Nice walking pace. Straight through the middle. Good left hand flank now. Try and catch them before they reach the fence. Come on, mate, get them back in line. Just kicking off a bit square there. Back onto that dark green tram line, which is the natural trod for the sheep to be on. Quick flank in, that was great Meg, done that well. Bit off line here, but only the odd point. Ten points taken off the driving. Medwin uh, doing an impression of D'Artagnan there with his sword, trying to keep them calm and quiet, but it's a difficult job when you go through a, a gateway. Speaking in Welsh to Meg. Asking her to take her time. And the still bolt passed. These sheep are very light. Medwin trying to get them in place here for a, a good pen. I've seen Medwin run a few times and he's the one guy that can pen giraffes. So uh, if he can't pen these sheep, nobody can. Oh, Meg working well. Trying to get them in the neck. Get them to see the back of that pen. So they're not frightened to go in. Medwin showing as much eye as the dog here. Trying everything he knows. He's got them nice and gentle. Nice and calm, Meg. Oh, they've spun on him. And there she goes again. Medwin trying everything. 
They're just not settling to make. Medwin trying his best here to get them in. Um, unfortunately, the time goes. So I've lost 10 points at the pen. Oh, how frustrating were those sheep at the pen for Medwin? Next up to run is Pennant Williams. Pennant was a relatively late starter, but he's won over 30 open trials and been a member of the Wales team three times. Sweep has been one of the most successful trialling and breeding dogs in the country. Pennant Williams with the 10-year-old Sweep. Unfortunately, Sweep went to the left-hand side and through past the pen, and so he's had to have a restart. A fair few points were lost on the first outrun in his recall. So we'll leave it up to the judge to see how many he wants to take off. This has probably been the most successful breeding dog in Wales over the past six or seven years. Some great offspring running all over the world. Absolutely perfect finish, but lost the points on the first outrun. Sweep is a really strong, big dog and uh, it makes a lot of noise when he runs over the ground and being the age that he is, he um, will be short of breath as well and you can hear the dog when he's running which may have an effect on the sheep. The uh, 10 points lost there on the fetch, he's gone the wrong side of the post, these sheep are unsettled but it doesn't detract from what a great dog Sweep has been. Sheep are galloping off now. The sheep really on the move now, so Sweep will have to try and keep up with them. He's on the wrong side here for a tight turn. Now he's taking the flank. Oh, and one slipped the drive obstacle. Sweep going up through the gears to keep up with this packet of sheep. They're offline now. It's hard work for a 10 year old dog when they get sheep this light, but he's got them back together again, showing his worth. We're seeing the heads and the shoulders, which is a bit of a no-no, but he has to bring them this way to get them back online. Now he's on his cross drive. Straight through the middle. He's on the correct line now. Bit of bad hand in there, he shouldn't have let the sheep get to the fence. It makes it difficult for the dog. He can only flank into the field or walk directly behind his sheep. Wants to get them back on that dark line. Now he's on it. Dog will have to work hard here. And he does well to stop them on the wrong side of the post lost 16 points on the driving these sheep are really upset now and away into the uh, next field sweet won't give up 
He's not that sort of dog. He'll try to the bitter end. Pennant is a livestock dealer, so although he spends a lot of time with stock, it'll be uh, with his finger bidding for them rather than working the dog practically every day. So Sweep does really well. And they slip past again. Come by. Dogs at the back of the pen, he'll never get them in from that position. Come on, stand. Stand. Well, it's all going a bit pear shaped now, but uh, I think Pennant's going to try and get round this sheep now. Not exactly the correct method to do it, but very practical. Nine points lost there, but well done, Pennant. Well done, Sweep. Now, our last competitor knows exactly what he needs to score in order to guarantee his place in the final. And he is Alan Lloyd-Jones with Becker. Known as Alan DeFati, Alan has been competing in trials since he was just 12 years old. He's been reserve international supreme champion twice, Welsh national champion in 2008 and made it into the final of the first world trials held here in Bala. And the final run is Alan Jones from Devaty. They're calling whistles, he doesn't want it to go too far wide. She's landed up slightly short, which is reflected in the points of six taken off of the outrun and the calling whistles. Excellent lift there. Becker's a really classy bitch. Head carriage is really low. A little bit offline there, odd point going. That's a lovely shot. Nice, quiet walking line now. Single file. This is trialing. Look at the class of this bitch. Gonna have to go quick here. A lot of Welsh commands, but lie down in English. Got the right side of the post. Only two points dropped on that fetch. She's giving a little bit of room. Alan asking her up. A mixture of English and Welsh commands. 
Nice turn. Keeping a distance and going for a straight drive now. Becca's very responsive. Bit offline here, wants to push you back up. Still in the uh, opening of the gate, so won't be losing too many points. He's trying to steer them and keep his dog on the left hand side so he can get a tight turn. Unfortunately, it's not worked. He's turned them inside the drive obstacles, so he'll be losing points there. <laughs> not upset the sheep, though. He's kept them at this nice walking pace. Square flanks from Becker. Not upsetting them. Coming in a straight line now for the cross drive obstacle. He thinks he's slightly high, so just just turning him down. Because of her swear flanks, she'll hit this properly. That was nice. Thrown off a bit wide here. Losing contact with the sheep. Now he's got her back. But he's been very careful, keeping them quiet. That was nice. That was good. I do notice that when the thing's going well, everything's in English, and when it starts going out of control, he's speaking Welsh. Trying a different approach, getting far back. No, it doesn't matter what you do, they still want to burst past the pen. But they've not gone too far, not gone round the back. Alan using all his experience there. Nice and calm in English. Oh. No, they've whatever you do, they seem to know the way round that pen. But they are fresh sheep for every run. He's got them in a good place now. Excellent. Six points dropped there. Well done, on. So, have Alan and Becca done enough to earn themselves a place in the double gather final? Here are the finalists from our nine competitors and their qualifying scores. Gethin and Fran lost 20 points, with Heaven and Cassie dropping just one more point. And, as we've just seen, Alan with Becca not far behind, losing 25. 
So we have our three fantastic finalists, but who will be the 2015 Away With Dogs champion? I for one can't wait, so join me here in Bodfari, North Wales for what's sure to be a nail-biting final.